All right, guys. In this next tutorial, we're going to break down how to do forearm stands. The very first thing we're going to try is what is called a dolphin pose in yoga. So I'm taking my hands, elbows in line with one another, hands also in line with one another, so that there's a straight line going between your arms. You don't want this to look like a V. A lot of um, people who do forearm stands have a tendency to flare their elbows out. Some disciplines call for this. In active flexibility, we want our elbows to be in, hands right above them, so it's a straight line instead of a uh, triangle line. One thing that is helpful to get this movement is to take a yoga block between your hands and that will help you have something to push into while you're trying to get into this forearm position. From here, whether I'm holding the block or not, I'm either squeezing the block or pushing my hands down to the floor and reaching my butt up to the ceiling. See how far of a stretch you can get in this. You don't want your head to be on the floor. I find a lot of times students will really want to try to do a forearm stand, but I know they're not yet ready because they're not able to push enough through the shoulders to get their head off the floor. So if your forearm stand looks like this, the best next step will be to work on shoulder engagement and pushing through your shoulders rather than just trying to go for it. Using your block, you can squeeze your block forward, squeeze the elbows in towards each other, and lift your booty up. Whether or not you actually go for the forearm stand, this is a really nice stretch. Often through your calves, also really helps get that push through the shoulders. Now, we're gonna try little hops, and I'm gonna use the wall at the beginning to be a little bit of a crutch or a training wheel for me while I try getting into my forearm with my yoga block. I'm setting up my yoga block about a foot from the wall, holding on, hand on each side, and reaching my dolphin pose. I'm looking my head forward at the wall, not down to the floor, forward at the wall, and then I'm going to kick one leg up. You really need to push through your bottom leg so your bottom leg bends and then explosively pushes your top leg up. Watch here. My left leg is up, my right leg is down. I'm using my right leg to kick my left leg up. The wall is a really nice crutch because it's a good reminder that you're not gonna go anywhere. You're not gonna fall over. Your foot reaches for the wall and then you can breathe for a minute, try to get your bearings while you're upside down. If that's hard, don't move on to the next step. Just play with this movement. I often find that students' most difficult part is the psychological barrier of actually bringing the body over the head. That ends up being a lot harder than the actual physicality of this movement. So just play with this for a while to get comfortable with bringing your butt over your head. You can take one toe off and play with balancing here too. Once that feels good, we can start taking it to the floor. Again, I'm gonna use my block, but I don't have to. This block helps me remember to pull in because I want this parallel line. I don't want the hands out to the side. I'm putting the block down, squeezing my elbows and hands together and using the block as a reminder to do that. From there, my butt reaches over my head and I bend my knee to reach my leg behind me. Notice I have one knee bent into my chest. 
One knee is bent into my chest, the other leg is long behind me. That will be a little bit easier than if I have both legs scorpioned over my head or if I have both legs long in a split. Those are leg variations that we can move into, but if you're just getting started with this movement, best step is to start with one knee tucked because it will be easier to find your stability. Get used to that stability first, and then you can think about opening your legs. Again, hands are on either side of your block, elbows pulled in, I walk my butt over my head, one, two, three, kick. Notice here, I'm keeping my gaze looking forward. I'm not looking behind me. I'm looking forward. Then I can reach my legs long, play with my legs, bend the other knee in, and come down. There are honestly a thousand things you can do upside down with your legs but first get used to this beginner version of your forearm stand. Thanks for watching.